me from this madman! I... I think I'm... dying. She's dead. Adeline? Adeline! Police are dealing with another strange death, so we're asking your secret paranormal police department for help. Forensics says the cause of death was cardiac arrest. The victim is a young actress at the local theater, but she's not in our database. It's like she doesn't exist. Make sure you call Eleanor. This case could use some of your twin magic. I'll meet you at the theater. This is First Lieutenant Randall Jones. My sister Eleanor and I are going to investigate Adeline Southfield's death. So far we have a rose, a ticket, a piece of cordon tape, and Lawrence Grayfield's testimony. The police found a glove, a handkerchief with the initials AL, and a feathered boa. I should read Laura Phillips' statement to find out more. Laura says Adeline and Andreas had an argument before their performance. That gives us a potential motive. Herman Cloverfeld's deposition mentions a knife and glasses with Andreas' fingerprints. I just talked to Officer Edward Schopenhauer. He asked us to take an unusual case about an actress named Adeline Southfield. It's a complex case, so we need my logic and deduction skills and your paranormal abilities to see beyond the surface. Meet Officer Schopenhauer at the theater. Call the theater to get the address. Help me!
sorry, Detective. I don't recognize that spirit. Could she be the victim in this new case? Modern Art Theater. We're located at 33 Freedom Street. Our operating hours are 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. For show times, please. Thank you for coming so quickly. Yesterday, we examined Adeline Salfeld's body on the stage where she fell. From what we can tell, her heart just stopped beating. The forensic analysis couldn't tell what caused it, but it's unusual for someone her age. Your abilities with your brother's deduction will help us piece together what happened. Here, this is another piece of evidence. something strange about this death. Hopefully my visions will show me what happened.
Are you insane? Of course I don't believe you. You're not 100 years old, and you weren't on the St. Mary. You're speaking nonsense. I see what's going on. You're seeing someone else. That's why you rejected me. I'll kill you both. If I can't be with you, no one will. I can summon Adeline. My name is Catherine Lisbeth, but I was known as Adeline. I don't know how I died, but I believe I was killed. I suddenly felt sick when I was on stage with Andreas, and then my heart stopped. I survived the sinking of the St. Mary in 1912. I was in that cold water for so long that I was clinically dead, but I still survived. After that, I stopped aging. I reflected on my life and decided to fulfill my dream of becoming an actress. So I changed my name to Adeline and started over as a new person. When I came to this town, Andreas and I met and fell in love. But my history and condition kept me from having a serious relationship. I decided to tell him the truth, but he didn't believe me. Who would? He thought I was cheating on him. He got angry and said a lot of terrible things. But I don't believe he killed me. I hope knowing my story helps you find the real killer.
didn't do anything. You can't pin this on me. I'm calling my lawyer. You have nothing on me. I didn't kill Adeline. It was a part of the show. I don't deny that I threatened her, but I didn't really mean it. I loved her more than anything. Did you talk to Ingrid? She's Adeline's stand-in and her main rival for the lead role. I'm surprised you haven't questioned her. She's at the hospital with a severe allergic reaction, but you should visit her. I'm sorry I acted so impulsively, Detective. Now, I have work to do, but here, Take this as an apology. Elena, I questioned Andreas. He told me that Adeline had a rival named Ingrid. I'm going to the hospital to talk to her, but keep in touch.
You shouldn't have come here, detective. Perfectly as my new test subject. 